The main concern at the moment is the 2015 elections coming up in February, and uh, there are several concerns around it. Uh, some organizations are concerned with the election from a technical side, how the election is being planned for and administered by the Electoral Commission. But of course, given the focus of crisis group work, we are concerned about preventing, if it was possible, otherwise limiting violence around the elections. This is a very important election. It could actually be said to be a watershed election for Nigeria. I mean, it, things could turn for the better and things could turn for the worse. It's particularly a different election because for the first time it's an election basically between two political parties because last year four opposition parties, the four major opposition parties merged together and now stand as one party facing the, the People's Democratic Party which has been the dominant party and the ruling party for the last 15 years. So you have an election that is probably going to be more, you know, uh, seriously contested between the two parties than in the past when you had one major party that always looked like it was going to win. You could have a real contest this time. Yeah, the report is um, a comprehensive review of the environment leading up to the elections as well as the processes leading up to the elections. But it's, uh, it's particularly concerned about the behavior of various actors and stakeholders, political parties, ethnic pressure groups, and so on, and how they impact the elections. From everything that we're seeing, the behaviors of these actors in the very volatile environment in which the election preparations are taking place suggest that there is a risk of violence around the elections at various levels. It could be before the elections, during the, the, the balloting, and especially after the elections, because uh, from everything that we found in our field research, there is a, a, a very good high risk that the results will be contested. And therefore, we have made several recommendations uh, to various actors, to the Jonathan government, to the political parties, to the Independent National Electoral Commission, to the National Assembly, to civil society, to ethnic and political leaders, to international donors. All of these have roles to play in limiting and mitigating the violence. And so we have a very long list of recommendations for these various actors. We believe that uh, violence can still be prevented or can be minimized but it requires very urgent action because we've just got a few months to go before February 2015.